I don't understand a thing, and yet I understand almost uh, completely. I mean, I'm a bit of a compu confusion here. If he were, did he became a slave to uh, to his desire for flavor, or did he become a slave towards others' expectations? And that is what made uh, Yochiro lose his sense of cooking. Either way, it is confirmed exactly what Asami has been looking for this entire time. A chef with a murderous aura and blood with wielding their knife. That is exactly what he wants from a cooking. And that is the reason why he liked Ashura Yochiro, someone with full of blood. Hi, for those who are watching, it's the Angry Enemy Fan to Despair Reviewer bringing you chapter 197, Shogiki no Soma, as the trio... No, not, the duo have entered the third year, Asami still in the second. We finally see the Polar Star Dormed uh, show, no, Elite 10. We are all... We are... Um, and uh, how much they respect this. Meaning that they were... The time when all of the Polar Star Dormed were the Elite 10 was during Yochiro's uh, time. At least that's confirmed. They have much respect for Dojima, Azami, and even some respect for Jun, despite her being an oddball and despite everybody believing she is still a middle schooler. But Yochiro, everybody knew him, and everybody wanted to enter the Polar Star Dorm, and yet they, she was strict. However, the Ashura chef, even though he won many prizes and still blown away many heirists, he still was actually secretly suffering. I think this is one of the first time we have actually seen someone, at least in this manga, cooking so much that they actually damaged himself. Okay, granted, he doesn't um, do that much. However, in the end, Yochiro's Ashura became so... he became so famous, so good, that no one except maybe three people dared to challenge him and that actually made Yoshiro feel a little bit dull. He wanted to have a cooking match with everybody but nobody wanted to cook against him because they believed they would just lose. And even though they wanted to sam sample him. And in the end he even started to stop with his weird combinations. Which is also very strange. I thought that the Ashura was the one who gave birth to the weird combinations but in the end the Ashura was the one who was a slave to flavor, as uh, even uh, as even Shun, you know, Jun and Gin wonder what is happening. The and even in fact in Sugar Kiki he made it more like that. As uh, they do, as later we see Azami and Gin doing paperwork, and where Azami com confesses that. Uh, Wielding uh, a knife clad with only the first for blood, the aura, the most beautiful thing of a chef, that's what I truly inspire to be, proves exactly what kind of chef he wants to be. He wants to be a chef that wants to destroy everybody who doesn't share that kind of thing. However, Gin wonders that nowadays no one, as I said before, dares challenge Yochiro. The only two who dares is him and um, Asami and uh, another person. I think we heard her name before. Ebisawa, more like Ebisawa Riko, who in that time was in her second year, and she was the fourth seat. Is it very possible that we are gonna see her too in the future? I, at least I hope. I mean, she doesn't have the same last name, so that cannot be Yukihara mother. We still have no clue on where she is. However, granted, this is chapter 197 of Shogeki no Soma. Will we finally see the mother in chapter 200? I mean, I cannot think of any better chapter than to show that one. However, Gin just says uh, that uh, the, he, all the competi competitions he runs outside of comp comp outside of school all just seems to be kind of dist distraction for him. So even though he still wants to have a duels with all his gang, this constant for the first time, his yearning for flavor actually began to hurt him. And even though the, a lot of the big shots still said that I have high hopes for you and uh, much that we will win the blue, your true still just took that as... Uh, 
And as people, and even do that, even during that time, Sai Yochiro, Yochiro's name became famous. I think we even see a Shingo Ando, that one of the chefs, you no know, judges from way before. In the end, Yochiro became a slave to flavor. And here is what I do not understand: Was this willingly, or did he just? Uh, I mean, was this one willingly, where he? Constantly pushed himself to find new flavors that he became a slave to that Was it too the fact that people always put so much pressure on him that he wanted to do that or was it more likely free? All of those combined where he pushed himself to find new flavor Because he wanted to find a challenge Is it possible that all Yochiro wanted was a challenge and that's why he constantly challenged Asami and Gin because he considers them the only one and he also entered competitions hope of, of challenges, but he became so famous, so much, so good, or such a slave to flavor that he actually began to feel pressure. And now we're walking through the sandstorm, which is a very poetic picture, mind you. For the first time he's going with a lantern, and this time the sandstorm is so fierce that it's actually tearing his body apart. As people continue to ask, what's next, what's next, what's next goal? Finally, one day before uh, the blue, he sees uh, the he sees uh, the Fumio san who says you should get some sleep. Once blue is over, consider taking a break. Asami is saying, "I'm witness to um uh, I'm glad to see you next evolution." And Gin just say, wanted to say something, but only saying, "Do your best." In the end. Yochiru just looked at a plate in complete darkness where he saw a picture of himself walking through the sandbag and was bleeding and completely exhausted. Is it possible that the reason Yochiru left the academy was simply because he no longer knew who he was? I mean, that's just how I translate and that's what I mean by I don't understand what is happening here and yet I understand everything. Is it possible that Yochiro felt so much pressure, such a slave to flavor and such things more, that he no longer knew what he wanted to do? What was his next goal? People had high expectations for him. Everybody expected him to win blue and become world famous. However, from what we've seen of Yochiro, I don't think he wanted to be world famous. He just wanted to cook. And in the end, he looked in that plate and wondered, who am I? I think that's how I translated it. And finally, the day came from the competition, as Beretgin entered the, his room. He had left his knives, his jacket, and his bag there, and even his cooking shirt. Uh, as people began to scream, where is Saiba Yochiro? And, uh, and as, uh, as a line from the final chapter actually says a bit what I meant, losing sight of the goal, the genius staggers. Is it now... When Yochiro left the academy, or is this just where he bowed out of the competition? Well, he left his knives and his cooking jacket there, but then again, as I said before, I think he lost sight of himself, so maybe he no longer wanted to cook. Either way, that's a conclusion. Well, no, 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 that's not a conclusion to Saiba Yochiro's um, past. But I think that's a conclusion on why he became the Ashura. I mean, the fake spoilers said that he left the academy after losing a cooking match to the headmaster, which I still hope will happen, but um, seems that wouldn't happen. Either way, Shugeki no Soma has not slowed down in awesome this year, and uh, once I make my uh, top 10 mangas of 2016, then I'll probably include that one too. And don't get me wrong, I do not like all the despair Shugeki no Soma has gotten. But at least it's ending with some bit of hope. So, uh, do you think of what I said is true? That Yochiro just became such a flavor and expectations and a desire for challenge that he eventually lose sight of who he was or what his goal really was? Or is it possible that he just wanted to try new flavors and new way because that's what the only way for him to find a challenge. And yet nobody appreciated that. But I think in the end he must have lost his goal 
or what he was. Because in the end, even I wonder, who was Yoshiro Saiba actually? He was the Ashura and an amazing cook. But who was he really? Give me your thoughts if you have any.